Today we're going to go over replacing the seals on an ISOLOC um, model sampler. This, uh, this sampler is an ISOLOC model SAA with uh, spring energized plunger seals and a multi-piece plunger. Um, this theory also applies to the SAB. The SAB is just a bigger sampler. So to begin, we'll remove the tri-clamp that holds the body onto the sampler. Remove the body and you're going to inspect the bore for any abnormal wear or scratches. You can then remove the plunger from the piston rod. I'll set that aside and we will work on that later. We can then remove the tri-clamp that holds the cylinder head to the cylinder barrel. And then we can remove the head, remove the piston rod. For demonstration purposes, I'm uh, actually going to attempt to save and reinstall these seals. So we'll remove all the seals from the unit and we will <clears throat> see if we can use them over here, at least in this video. Okay, so now that I've got all my components apart, once you've uh, thoroughly cleaned and inspected your components for excessive wear on the piston rod, this is an industrial hard, hard chromed piston rod, you'll check for excessive scoring um, or gouging or pitting of that. You'll also check for excessive score or pitting of the bore of your barrel. Everything looks good. You can install your piston seals onto your piston. Now for lubrication, we uh, generally recommend uh, the use of a Crytox lube or a uh, Molly Coat. The medium 33 works well. You can lubricate the seals and inside the barrel. For the demonstration, um, I don't need or won't use any lubricant. You can then insert the piston into the barrel, slide it down, I'll set that off to the side. We'll then install the rod seals into the head. Make sure that those are all seated properly. The head of the cylinder has a, a threaded hole and meeting up with that threaded hole is a cross drilled hole. This cross drilled hole must go towards the piston. So on that side we have an o-ring that we install. 
Again, we'll lubricate these seals, but for demonstration purposes, I'm not using any lubricant. Slide the barrel together. You can reinstall your tri clamp. Okay, moving on to the plunger. Like I said in the opening, this is a multi piece plunger with spring energized seals. It basically just comes apart in pieces. There's O rings in between each section, two O rings between each section. So we just pull it apart. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to reuse the seals. But you'll have the idea of how this works. There I have everything apart. At this point you'll you'll clean up, um, make sure everything is in good uh, condition, not worn out or gouged up, gouged up. Make sure that the the spindle for the piston is straight and then you can start reassembly. The plunger consists of the seal carriers. One of them is a thicker one, that's the last one. The sleeve which is a, a spacer extension or just a, a longer, thicker carrier, and the annulus, which determines the sample volume of the sampler. The first three carriers, the seal goes on to the carrier with the spring facing the shoulder, like so. So I will set up three of those. The remaining carriers, um, the seal goes on with the spring facing away from the shoulder. And then it's just a matter of stacking it all up. So we start with an O-ring, a carrier, the one with the spring facing towards the shoulder, an O-ring, and like I said, some of the um, designs have two O-rings. A carrier, an O-ring, Carrier, the sleeve, a carrier, O ring, carrier, O ring. This is a place where we will do a double. The sleeve, and we have a double here. That sleeve, and an O-ring. You've successfully reassembled the plunger. We will then reassemble it 
to the piston rod of the sampler. Note, you can check your um, assembly drawing of the sampler to um, verify what your torque should be here, but you'll use some wrenches to tighten this on here. You can then reinsert into the body. Now, I didn't lubricate in this case, but you would use the um, Molly coat or the Crytox um, or a, a process um, acceptable lubricant. And you can reinstall your tri clamp. And you are ready to put the sampler back into service.